あそうですか。We've celebrated the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, and we're still enjoying the London Olympics and doing so well. But best of all, Robin and Catherine are finally magic. That has to trump all the above. Next, we have Mr. Davenport, who was a choir master at school. As Robin, he was in the choir pretty much all the time when he was at school. Sadly, Mr. Davenport couldn't be here to play this today. <laughs> but he went for some one song repeatedly, and it would have been like this. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I recall asking. Thank you. Thank you. I, I recall asking Robin, why did he want to be quiet after his voice had broken? And, and his response was, because he wanted to learn how to sing in his new voice. Fair enough and good on him. I'm patiently waiting for Robin to change career and get a big time in the X Factor in the over 35s. <laughs> well, we can't stay at school forever. But there's one final point to mention, which Robin touched upon earlier, is that we were both in the cross-country team, uh, with Mr. Dunlop, Mr. Scott, Mr. Farrett and Gover. Sadly, none of them could be here today, I know. Uh, but they would have said this. Congratulations to you both. Now, I was pretty fast at cross-country running, but unfortunately, not as fast as Robin, who was just annoyingly seconds away, and in front pretty much all the time. But the big race, the one that really matters, was the long pen where the whole school took place. Now, it so happened my father and my two uncles also went to the same school, and they too ran this race. And all of them came first. So the Boyd pedigree of runners, we were there. Pressure was on. What was I going to admit? Could one with the long pen with Robin just seconds in front? No. Robin didn't let me be. And I came seconds by seconds. Thank you, Robin. Thank you very, very much. And you've asked me to be your best man. You're a very brave boy. Now, Robin's taste in music somewhat changed after school, and perhaps I wasn't going to mention his favourite bands. However, oops, I did it again. <laughs> Every time, All That Matters, and Arms Around the World, do you remember that one? Uh, okay, okay, I've lost half of the audience now, okay, I'll get back on track. Um, uh, for the rest of you, uh, take a chance on me, and if you see me later, just give me, give me, give me a, a drink, or even some money, 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 and I might reveal the information. <laughs> well, I'm running out of time now. Over to talk about the stag party, which was a civilised weekend of comedy, clay pigeon shooting, and fine dining. Now, with the clay pigeon shooting, the weather was not on our side. The rain was belting it down sideways with a chill factor that felt like ice. Robin and shooting, however, could do a little bit more practice. When the instructor shouted pull, Robin pulled the trigger, even before the clay had a chance to block. In all the years I've known you, Robin, no one has ever, ever questioned your intellectual ability. In fact, come to think of it, I don't think anyone has ever mentioned it. <laughs> So the instructor shouted, pull again, and again, Robin pulled the trigger, even before the day had a chance to fly. So the advice provided was to focus on the tip of the gun and follow the clay in front. Alas, this did not help. So now we're getting a bit strange now. Robin was asked to shoot blindfolded with a shotgun. Okay, now we've entered a fantasy reality of Star Wars with Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi and and his young apprentice. Sadly, Robin was dressed as himself, instead of a cloak and lightsaber. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, if that's Robin Shop Morkley's blindfold, is that he did? We have eyes open. Annis Mirabel, that's so unbelievable. Anyway, I would love to keep talking to you all night long, but I want to summarise a few key moments for Robin over the last 25 years. It was the same match. I'm going to carry on talking, and I don't need no doubt. Um, um, back to being a good, loyal friend. Uh, except for coming to us in the long pen running race, which I've got a bit of grudge on now, but there we are. Uh, you forgot to mention dance classes uh, at school where you learned how to do Scottish real dance and uh, predominantly male generated schools so here to pick a male partner. Nice one, Robin. Um, <laughs> choir, rather uh, than pool, that's a good one. Achieving 10 tours, very good achievement, well done. Rebellious hay spreading on the final year of school. Yes. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> if I missed something. Um, when Robin was at university, this might surprise a number of you, but Robin at one point during university, and I don't think that was actually correct, studied philately, as did I. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know Robin's characteristics is that he's a very flattering, flattering person, pretty much most of the time. However, philately is the study of stamps. This was a brief period that Robin was a philatelist, but his hobby soon dashed away. I do wonder if you still have your stamp collection. I do. Oh, I do. <laughs> Moving back to the summary. Okay, so philately, flattery, and charming. You're very charming, very good. Uh, vinification. Uh, there's a while where, for a time, we were drifting the apple ties, and we refilled uh, apple ties bottles with homebrew. To disguise the fact uh, that we were just drinking a bit ice, and uh, it was pretty disgusting actually, homebrew, but uh, it, was, it was fun doing it. Uh, premature shooting, uh, you've got to start, you got to start shooting straight away. <laughs> Wait for the play. <laughs> Stylish surfing. Uh, now, this is one, Robin changed his degree for this one. The sight of blood, flesh and wounds, losing limbs, AME. And anyone in the hospital having uh, uh, problems with the faint things. Are you okay? Stage off with glass and brewery. Look who's talking. Talkie, Exeter University. Favourite music was with me, Louise. Hot chocolate, massage, Dukes of Hazard. Um, Mickey's and Chelsea. 40 40 scoring algorithms. When we were living together in Chelsea, uh, Mickey's and Chelsea, you know, the programme on television made in Chelsea. Uh, making it in Chelsea was more exciting. Uh, now, our 40 40 scoring algorithm was uh, basically seeing how good a girl was. There's so many girls out there. Uh, there was 20 on looks, 10 on joke telling ability, and 10 on household ability tasks. And uh, I'm sure you would agree, Catherine scores 40 out of 40. Hey. Uh, we went on a number of holidays together. I don't think I'm all challenging holidays, that was so funny. I can't mention them at all, but there we go. Uh, contribution from the ushers was lads, 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 thank you. Uh, donkey fancy dress, I saw the picture one time, it was fantastic. Saying about stinking. And finally, the best part, marrying. Now, getting serious now, I'd like to thank Robin uh, for being a close friend over the last 25 years and helping me throughout. You are brilliant, and we've had many experiences, and we've had a humorous moment all the time. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so pleased that you thank Catherine, and I wish you both the best for the future. <laughs> Telegrams, messages from people, hugs from people. Um, a message from Anthony Darby, she sends her love and best wishes for the future. Um, so then, ladies and gentlemen, draw it to a close. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I couldn't get any more telegrams in the last minute, so I've got a spare space. <laughs> Um, so ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to invite you all to raise stands and raise your glasses in a toast to Catherine Robin, the new Mr. and Mrs. Bingman, to love, laughter and a happily ever after. Yeah.